hi guys how are you doing uh, today i'm gonna show you how to start an engine outside of a car this is a type 4 air cooled vw uh, two liter engine so i'm gonna show you the process of starting it outside of a car since i took it out i've been working on it uh, i did a wheel run video I think uh, some couple of days back so it, it ran it started to drain so now I'm gonna show you in the process of starting it outside of a car first of all what you need is a battery to use as you for 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 the power uh, to turn the the starter and then you need a Pet petrol or gas to feed the, the carburetors this engine has two carburetors so uh, first of all or secondly or thirdly uh, you connect your wires the red wire this one is a positive let me show you positive sign there connect it here the positive one goes there 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 then you connect it on this starter and then the negative one is a negative there it goes there it goes it goes you you connect it on the engine block uh, and then your petrol lines is a is our outlet this one takes in petrol takes in this side this side this side to the to the petrol to the petrol pump is our petrol pump there let me show you here is a petrol pump there takes to the petrol pump and then this line takes it to the to the carburetors here is our carburetors here and then when it comes here it splits into two sections as a T you put a T here it goes to this carburetor it fits this carburetor then also goes to this carburetor it fits this carburetor and then here is our return line when, when the carburetors are full, don't need to overflow them. And also this one, when it is full, here's our return line. Goes back into the storage. I put a little stopper here so that we have pressure on the carburetors. Let me show you the stopper. There's our stopper there. So that we have pressure on the carburetors. Uh, and then and the thing that you need to also plug in is the the coil here's our coil on the coil we have two wires the wire the negative wire there's our negative wire there it goes to the distributor it's connected to the distributor there you go here's our distributor there the black one goes to the negative and then we have the other one the other wire with a, which is a positive it goes to the battery i just connected it i'll connect it straight to the battery here is it this one goes to the battery to the positive side not the negative side it goes to the positive side uh, what happens is that if you want to take this is a 12 volt battery if you want to decrease the voltage you need to put a, a resistor here on this line just cut it and put a resistor here so that you step you step the the voltage down maybe to six volts so that it doesn't feed uh, too much voltage to the uh, coil and the distributor because what happens that
it, the current comes into this coil and then it gets out here and then it's going to come uh, to this uh, wire here the middle one this one and then it distributed to the sparks this box one two three four that's how you get spark to the uh, engine or to the spark plugs and then the other thing you need to do well you've plugged your your coil and then make sure that if you are running your engine cold you need to plug in your uh, what do you call your your choke or should I say your choke this is our choke here this is our choke here and then this one this is our choke here and then what else also uh, well you have your you have your storage tank uh, complete you have your power come on you have your power and then your starter connection on the starter the positive one you connect it here and then there is a, a little clip on to from on the starter you put your wire here you connect your wire here and then that wire is gonna come to this side it's gonna tap it here when you tap it here it's gonna crank the engine it's gonna turn the the engine or should i say it's gonna turn the engine and when the engine turns and then uh, it's gonna try to fire but then if you didn't connect the if you didn't connect the the coil it's, it's not going to spark or if you don't have uh, petrol or gas into the carburetors then it's not going to uh, to ignite uh, the spark with the petrol we have a little bit of petrol here that we're going to pour into the carburetors since we're not sure that we still have uh, petrol or gas into the carburetors don't pour too much not to over uh, flood it just a little bit uh, pour both of them since this one is using uh, two carburetors so that is just it if you follow the instructions i think it will definitely start i'm not sure if it is the same procedure with uh, what you call uh, the fuel injected one i think it's the same procedure just that one needs uh, uh, a CPU to operate the injectors. This one just needs a coil, and then uh, just need a coil to to operate this uh, the spark plugs, and then yeah, I think you're good to go. So now what do we do? Now we plug in. Our negative or our ground to this then so it is on our coil is going to be hot uh, we have our battery plugged in let's do this make sure that our our petrol goes down okay it is down well, it might not start because our battery is a bit low. Don't know if we have too much power and or enough power on that battery to start this engine. But it doesn't take a lot of uh, power to start it. So let's see if it will start. If it doesn't start, then we'll just uh, try to recharge this battery and then try it again. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, guys, <laughs> the battery is a bit low, so 
you might need to recharge it and then come back hopefully it will start all right guys i think uh, our battery is a bit chest up you put a little power in it i think maybe it might crank this engine or it might start so let's see don't know if it is it will be enough so let's just try uh, Ah, nah, this battery is gone. I think I might need a new battery. Or, yeah, this one is definitely gone. So, if you follow the procedures, like I said, uh, make sure you have a good battery, you have a good starter, you have your wires correct, you have petrol in the carburetors, uh, your coil is plugged up your distributor wires are correct you have your negative wire going to the engine block your positive going to the uh, starter then it will definitely start i don't know if maybe we can try to get a p3 to start this engine let's see if maybe we can't Get a P3 uh, to start this engine. Give, give me a sec, guys. Uh, I'll try to get a better P3 so that we can start this engine. All right, guys. I think now it definitely is going to start. Uh, we got ourselves a better P3, a new P3. So let's try this. I'm sure it has to start. If it doesn't start, then something is wrong with our connection or a uh, uh, our engine so let's try this just simply uh, the wire to this uh, knob here then you connect it with this one from the positive then <laughs> Let's pour in some petrol in there. Here is a sip for you. And here is a sip for you. Put that down there. Let's try it again. Where is our wire? Where is our wire? Think I was not getting enough. Guys, I think our wires are not that strong. So let's try it one more time. Yeah, our wires are not that strong. It's hot. Also. So our wires are not that strong, guys. Let's try it one last time. And one more time. going on here this is that well guys this doesn't want to start I think it might be our wires well they're not getting enough power to the engine so we're not getting that enough power Let's see if we can get uh, some wires or some extra wires to that engine block. Maybe it will start. 
all right guys uh, we did a little mess here of uh, some wires so i think now definitely has to start if it doesn't start then uh, maybe we might have uh, another problem that we need to address but then let's try it see yeah now it does start i think we had a problem of uh, our wires from the battery not being enough or we didn't get enough uh, enough power to the starter so now that we have enough power to the starter let's try it again let's give it a little sip here's a sip for you A sip for you, not that much. Then let's try it again. I'm not sure if our petrol pump is working, but then if it is working, then it should be pumping petrol. Yeah, it should. We have gas in here, have petrol in here, so it should be pumpy. So I'm not sure what's wrong. But then let's give it a sip again. Maybe still going into the carburetors. If it is, then I want to let it idle maybe for five seconds. Then I was wrong now. Uh, our wires, guys. Sorry for the shaking. Uh. Ah. No, I think our battery is gone. But our wires are a bit mixed up. Or we are not getting enough power to the start. So, but then follow the instructions. Then there's just how to start an engine outside of a car. A Type 4 VW air cooled engine. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. And stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.